Hi YouTube, Fez UFO here with uh, a um, review of uh, my newest little flash lamp from China. It's a Cree uh, XMG, or XPG, sorry, XPG R5 uh, emitter. Uh, no brand name on it, obviously. Has a little keyring lanyard thing at the back there. Uh, you can clip onto your belt or uh, you know your uh, whatever, oh, any webbing or something like that. Uh, pretty sturdy. It's made of uh, obviously aluminium sort of thing. Have a look at the the bulb at the front there. Uh, you can see it's a tiny, tiny little uh, emitter. I'll try and zoom that in for you without going out of focus like that. That's about as far as we can go, really. It's a tiny little uh, Cree R5 emitter. Uh, smooth reflector, as you can see. And uh, it's ultra bright. It uses one um, battery, which uh, screws in. If I can put the camera down, I'll try and show you, because I'm doing this one-handed. OK, uh, it just twists apart here at the top. This whole section comes off. It's got an O-ring there. Which uh, sort of makes it a bit water resistant. That's the inside. Obviously, the uh, emitter at the front there. The inside, just a standard uh, driver. And uh, the rest of the, the body it does use a, um, a 14500 uh, 3.5, uh, sorry, 3.7 volt Lion or lithium ion battery. Uh, this one's only rated at 1200. Um, milliamp hours but uh, it seems to work pretty well and uh, like I say it's super bright this is just a, a cheap El Cheapo brand name but the batteries do work it will use double A's as well um, which is no real significance with the uh, the light but uh, I've got another one uh, just a lamp to show you here in comparison and then we'll do uh, a couple of tests for it in the dark Okay, these ones, you've probably seen them, the generic pound shop, uh, 9, I think it is, uh, 360, uh, 9 LED, they um, use 3 AAA batteries, and these uh, you can pick up for a quid, a pound, in a pound shop, or whatever. So I'm just going to show you the uh, difference in beams with uh, the old cheap old pound shop light and the uh, super light, which the camera probably won't pick up very well, but... You can just see he's got like that blue light. So uh, we'll try the super light now. And you twist it to turn it on at the top here. It's got three modes. Um, bright, uh, medium and strobe. So that is the bright. And obviously you can see straight away everything goes black behind it. Switch it, uh, turn it around again. Oh, sorry, that was the low. There's the strobe. So you see how bright that is. It's probably wrecking the camera. Uh, that's the bright. The high. So, uh, we'll turn the lights off. And I'll let it shine down the garden so you can see the difference. Okay, guys, I'm stood at the back door here. Uh, there's obviously a light coming over from next door. Um, but if you can just make that, the shed out at the end there, next to the pole, my antenna. Um, it's That's a roughly about, uh, oh, he's, he's cut the light off now. <laughs> uh, roughly uh, 40 feet, something like that. So we'll try the El Cheapo lighter, pound shop lighter first. Uh, as you can see, it's probably going around um, 12, 15 feet, something like that. So I'll try and shine it down onto the they can just sort of make the shed out there. Uh, the camera won't pick it up very well, I'm afraid. However, you can just see the white bit of the shed there. Uh, so that's your pound shop, your standard pound shop, generic torch. Okay, so we'll try the uh, super light now. Let's see if I can see it in the dark here. 
Right, the first setting should be um, on the high setting, so and high, low, no. Right, that's a high setting, and look at the difference there. It's amazing that beam. It's it really is. I mean, it'll probably go further down, but uh, it lights the shed totally up. So that's the high power. Uh, that's the medium power, which still is not bad. It gives you a lot of illumination, especially all around. Uh, obviously, the closer it is, the better. But it's a nice light spread as well. So that lights out up pretty well. And then, of course, you've got the the strobe feature, which. Uh, you could probably use for uh, blinding an opponent or something like that. Okay guys, I think that was a pretty uh, successful uh, test of the, the lamp and the uh, El Cheapo Pound Shop lamp. Those are actually one of the brightest lamps that uh, I used to own. Um, but I decided to go in for a Cree. Um, and I went for the XML. I had, uh, Sorry, the XM. Yeah, XML T6, but I uh, got the wrong batteries for it and it broke. So uh, I had this one instead, so I decided to, to uh, fork out, get the charger and uh, a couple of uh, the 14500 batteries that went with it. But as I say, it takes one battery. Uh, you can, if you run out of uh, juice with these rechargeables, you can always um, uh, use double A's in them. So uh, a really excellent, excellent EDC light. Uh, I will say one thing, you can turn it on momentarily just by pressing, just by pushing down on it. So you must make sure that that's actually turned up, turned right to right off. Um, or else you will waste the battery in it. It's sitting in your pocket. Great little buy, lads. About uh, £3 I think I paid for this and about £2 for the, two batteries in the charger. So all in all for a £5 lamp. I'm more than impressed with it. Check them out on eBay, mate. Uh, they're they're awesome. Cheers for now. Take care. Thanks thanks for watching and please subscribe.